In this video, we're gonna give you the top four tips for really understanding how to protect yourself against this 21st century challenge, which is EMF toxicity. Uh, if you want all 10 tips, check out the article below. My name is Dr. Isaac Jones. And I'm Erica Jones. And as he mentioned, we're gonna be talking about EMF protection today in this video. So what is EMF? I know it sounds like something kind of hokey, like something you may have seen in Star Trek or some <laughs> sci-fi movie, but it's actually a real thing. EMF stands for electromagnetic field, and it's actually about the electric charge that's created by different objects in the environment. So there's natural and man-made types of EMF. The natural kind are the kind that you just find out in nature, the kind in the human body, which we'll talk more about in a few minutes. But the man-made kind are the kind that are most harmful. You can share a little bit about what some of those man-made kinds are. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got Wi-Fi signals all around us. If you've ever stayed at a hotel and you see there's 50 Wi-Fi signals that you can get <laughs> access to, that's a problem. Right. Uh, you've got microwave radiation, you've got x-rays, uh, you've got visible um, natural light that's an EMF, but then you've got a lot of like invisible UV light um, that, that can be a challenge uh, that's man-made. And then, of course, anything that you plug in uh, obviously gives off EMF. Um, you know, the cell phones, I've got yes. an Apple Watch here that I put on airplane mode most of the time uh, because of the EMF challenges. So there are a lot of things that, you know, that emit electromagnetic frequencies. Now, it wouldn't be an issue if the EMF didn't, didn't compete and create challenges with the electromagnetic system of the body. Your exactly. brain has an electromagnetic system. Your heart has an electromagnetic system. Your mitochondria, which is the energy power plant of all the cells of your body, which make around 10% of your body by weight. Uh, that is kind of the, the master electrical kind of uh, output for energy inside the cells. Uh, and so all of that has an EMF and, and a healthy EMF for the right. body. Uh, but obviously when the man-made EMFs combined with the, you know, the, the God-made EMFs or the, or the natural EMFs that are inside your body, that's when over time and, and when you're overexposed, it can create issues. Absolutely, it creates interferences with what's already naturally occurring in the body. And so overexposure in this day and age is not really that hard because as you mentioned, <laughs> You've got Wi-Fi signals everywhere, cell phones, computers, TVs emit EMF. We, you know, you, you see so many people these days giving their kids their iPads or phones or whatever. And so it's easy to get overexposed in the 21st century. But overexposure is linked to a lot of challenges like insomnia, anxiety, infertility, hormone disruption, yeah. brain fog. You've dealt with that a lot in the consultation business. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and there are things and factors in the 21st century that actually magnify the impact impact that EMFs have on our bodies. So micronutrient deficiencies and B vitamins, mineral yes. deficiencies, exposures to toxicities, all of that magnifies the impact that EMF damage can have inside of your body. And that's what we're seeing. Uh, oftentimes when people overcome some of these other, you know, challenges within their body, EMF doesn't impact them as much uh, anymore. That is true. And yeah. one thing that's really important to point out is that kids are very vulnerable to um, these exposures because their bodies are still developing, Developing their skin is, doesn't have the barrier like adult skin does. And so it's really, really important for children and especially babies, we'll talk about a great strategy for mm -hmm. protecting even growing babies inside the belly, um, what you can do to, to create some protection in your home. So I'm gonna let you start with the first EMF protection tip now. Yeah, so this is the first EMF protection tip. Really, it's all about turning off your Wi-Fi or uh, minimizing Wi-Fi exposure, yes. right? So what I recommend doing is is getting hardwired cables. We just built this house uh, and everything is hardwired. So we've got, uh, with our Apple TV, it's hardwired into the actual TV. So it's not working through Bluetooth or uh, through Wi-Fi. Our, our laptops at our computers, you know, that's hardwired into an ethernet cable. So. Everything which we do, we try to minimize exposure. Do we turn Wi-Fi on and sit at the, 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 the kitchen table or whatever and, and work from time to time? Sure, but you want to, as much as you can, minimize uh, you know, Wi-Fi signal. Now, there's a, there's a number of other things that you can do to, to minimize you know, these EMF uh, radiations and Wi-Fi signals that we'll talk about, but um, one thing that we love to do is 
turn the actual Wi-Fi signal <laughs> off. Just turn when, it off. <laughs> when we are, when we're not using it. So I'll let you talk about that. Yeah, so this goes for everything, even from your cell phone to your um, home computer system, your router and all of that. So you can just physically go and turn it off at night I mean, that's when we're not using it the most and that's when our bodies are at rest and we're trying to recover. This nifty little gadget is for you if you just want to kind of go on autopilot with turning off your computer Wi-Fi. This is called a super feeder. And what it does is it automatically just shuts down our Wi-Fi at night. So we have it set for probably between like nine or 10 o'clock and all the way up till like 7 a.m. before we get started working. The Wi-Fi is completely off so we're not exposing ourselves to EMF unnecessarily. Yeah. So, you know, your, your body, like if you look at what an antioxidant is, it's, a, it's, it's essentially a negative ion that neutralizes positive ions in the body. Uh, what that means is essentially you're combating the things that damage the body and cause rapid aging. So you've heard of free radical theory of aging. Free radicals are all these positive ions inside the body uh, that damage uh, the cells and the tissues of the body which create rapid aging and so an antioxidant is a negative ion that actually neutralizes that 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 free radical well EMF is actually a free radical okay it is a, a bunch of positive ions man-made you know EMF is positive ions floating around in the air and so you're oftentimes getting all this positive ion exposure and it's like this massive free radical that we're living in, this environment of free radicals that we're living in. And if we don't neutralize that through, um, what we're, through, through negative ions, then we're not going to end up impacting the damage that EMF ends up having in our body. So what do we need to do? Getting outside, right? If you are, live near the ocean, breathing the ocean air is a form of all, that, all those negative ions coming off the ocean is absolutely huge. When you're in a lake and you swim in a lake, ton of, ton of negative ions. If you live you know, in, a, in, a, in a, a, a city, it's ideal to go outside and take your feet uh, and, and just earth, that we call it grounding, where you're actually going outside and you're walking uh, in the grass and, and you're just you know, absorbing the negative ions from the earth's crust, which is the number one source of kind of antioxidant in, in the world, which is literally the earth in which we live. And, there's kind of a, it's kind of funny because you hear about all these hippies hugging trees. Oh, he's a tree <laughs> hugger. Well, there's actually truth to hugging trees now. Like if you get your skin on the bark of a tree, you're getting some of those negative ions passing into the body, helping to neutralize some of those positive ions from all the, you know, EMF uh, toxicity that you're getting. And I love this tip because it's really bringing us more outside into nature. Yeah. Who doesn't love the beach? You're getting the ozone from coming off of the ocean. That's a great exposure to negative ions. So... I like this because of its ability to reduce stress and to, re to help combat those EMFs as well. So the next tip is to uh, use your phone on speaker, the speaker function, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is a really good one. Um, if you're still holding your phone <laughs> up to your head when you're talking, I know sometimes if you're in a group and you need a private conversation, sometimes <laughs> that's necessary. But if that's what you're doing the majority of the time, you're really exposing your brain to a lot of EMFs. And um, it's even worse if the signal is choppy. What we really recommend is using the speaker function or a headset, not a Bluetooth headset, just the kind that you plug into your phone and can talk through that where the earbuds are plugged in. Um, that can reduce exposure to EMF as well. Yeah, absolutely. And then this is something that I absolutely love that my wife has done uh, with every single one of our kids. So I'll let you talk about I'll talk about this. Yeah, this last tip is called EMF shielding. So in situations where you are not able to completely protect yourself from EMF, thankfully there's been companies that have created technologies to create EMF protecting fabrics. So for us. We work from home, we work in a virtual environment, so we are using our computers and phones and technology a lot of the time. One of the things that I did early on in our pregnancy with our first baby was I invested in um, an EMF protecting blanket. And what I love about this is that I literally just sit at my desk and put it over my belly like this, and it blocks out the EMFs. There's not really as much coming off of my computer because I'm hardwired in, but if I'm using my phone or if there's some exposure from other electronics, I'm protecting the growing baby and I love that. So that's another tip is EMF shielding where you can get those fabrics. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, obviously, we've got a lot more great information for you on Elevase.com. We got 10 tips if you just click the article link below. Would love for you to just dive deeper into some of these tips so that you can get access to more information, more knowledge, more uh, you know, wisdom around how to protect yourself, how to protect your family, how to protect your perhaps growing baby, uh, whatever it is. And ultimately, you know, our goal and our mission is to change and transform uh, the lives of the individuals that we're educating. So we want you to live your best life for the rest of your life. We want you to elevate every single day of your life. So definitely check out the article below, get the rest of the tips. Uh, we'd love for you to do that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>